Climate change is wreaking havoc across the globe, not only for humans, obviously, as well as any number of species on land, our ability to produce enough food to live, but also in the oceans. And you might already know that, but it's getting even worse. There's a new study that shows that up to 90% of ocean species face extinction, not challenges, not difficulties. The wiping out of 90% of the species in the ocean. And so under the current level of emissions, the track that we're on right now, which the UN said back in 2019 would raise global temperatures by three to five degrees Celsius. That would result in 90% of marine species at a high to critical risk of being wiped out. And 85% of those species native habitats being affected on average. Now, perhaps, some of the recent actions might influence that by a tick. We might save a couple of species that we're on track to lose. But this is still absolutely devastating news. Um, and look, we can talk a lot more about you know, the, the issues with water on land. We were talking about drought uh, earlier, uh, uh, just yesterday, I believe it was, with uh, celebrities overusing their water you know, in Southern California and all that. It's an issue all over, drought in some areas, floods in others. Water is an important part of this as heat is. But the oceans are critically important, not just for biodiversity in some sort of generalized sense, but there is a significant portion of the world's population who feeds themselves every day on protein that comes from the oceans. These species are not optional, they're not a nice thing to have. They are critical for billions of people to be able to survive. And so while obviously we're gonna focus on land, we are creatures who live on the land. It's important that we understand what's happening on the oceans as well. What do you think, Jordan? I mean, when you see a headline like this, you should be mortified. And this should be you know, a top story globally. But I saw it on like Common Dreams and a couple other sites, but that's like it. And nobody else really seems to care. I saw more coverage of Nick Cannon's 10th kid than, than this. Like, I don't know if that's really more important. Uh, it's, it's just really, really sad. And it, I, I think. That just shows the importance of a movie and how poignant a movie like Don't Look Up is. You get these stories all the time, you get these reports all the time about great existential threats, like losing 90%. Come on, when we talk about like irreversible and, and, and just damaging effects of climate change and nobody cares, nobody really sees, sees the urgency in that. Like what are we doing? And yeah. I know distractions are good and help people cope, but. At some point, we have to act collectively, and there just isn't a willingness. In part, it's because the media isn't covering. So I'm thankful for shows like this that talk about it. And I'm thankful for reporters who cover it. But it should be a, a, a huge story. And I, 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 I really fear it's going to be too late before people finally wise up and take action. We're going to have maybe not, you know, damage that threatens all of humanity, but at least a, a good amount that. People on the front lines, people in marginalized communities, and people in areas of the planet that are going to be first impacted, it's going to be too late for them. And that's not fair, especially yeah. when we're one of the leading emitters. Exactly. Yeah, we were able to benefit for decades and decades and decades doing what we're telling them they should not do right now. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.